even on the biggest albums full of great songs, there is one that stands out as the best. In this video, we'll look at my picks for the best song from the biggest albums. 1989 by Taylor Swift Taylor Swift's 1989 was a game changer for pop music, with Taylor transitioning from country to a full pop artist seamlessly. Released in 2014, debuting at number 1 on the Billboard 200, with first week sales of 1.2 million copies. The album became one of the best selling albums of the decade, with over 10 million copies sold. Blank Space is the best song on the album in my opinion. It is the perfect pop song, with clever lyrics and multiple catchy hooks. The song topped the charts globally spending 7 weeks on number 1 on the Billboard Hot 100. Other amazing songs from 1989 include Style and New Romantics from the Deluxe, both of which showcase Taylor's ability to make fun bangers. Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa Dua Lipa's Future Nostalgia was a breath of fresh air in the pop music landscape upon its release in 2020. It debuted on number 4 on the Billboard 200 with 66,000 album equivalent units sold in its first week. The album received widespread critical acclaim and commercial success, selling more than 4.3 million records just in the US since its release. Its infectious blend of disco, funk, and pop influences made it an unforgettable album. Physical was my standout track from the album, with its euphoric energy and irresistible groove. The song peaked at number 3 on the UK charts, and earned Dua Lipa multiple award nominations. Other standout tracks from the album include don't Start Now and Levitating, both of which became the biggest hits from the album. The Fame by Lady Gaga Lady Gaga's The Fame was her groundbreaking debut album that introduced the world to Gaga's unique blend of pop, dance, and glam rock. Released in 2008, the album sold over 15 million copies worldwide and earned her critical acclaim and catapulted her to superstardom. It first debuted on number 17 on the Billboard 200 with sales of 24,000 units, but the sales grew over time. Paparazzi is the best song on the album, with its infectious melody and theatrical flair. The song topped the charts globally and earned Gaga multiple awards and nominations. Other notable tracks from the fame include Just Dance and Poker Face, both of which were chart topping hits, helping establish Gaga as a pop icon. After Hours by The Weeknd the Weeknd's After Hours was a massive commercial success upon its release in 2020, cementing The Weeknd's status as one of the biggest stars in music. The album debuted on number 1 on the Billboard's 200 Albums chart, selling 444,000 Amukovili units in its first week, and received widespread critical acclaim for its innovative sound and introspective lyrics. Blinding Lights is the best and biggest song from the album. With this infectious synth-pop sound, it never gets old, even if it's now the biggest song of all time. The song topped the charts globally and broke several records, including becoming the most streamed song on Spotify. Other notable tracks from After Hours include Faith and the title track After Hours, both of which are criminally underrated and showcase The Weeknd's versatility and artistry. Anti by Rihanna Rihanna's anti marked a departure from her previous pop-oriented sound, embracing a more eclectic mix of R&B, reggae, and soul influences. Released in 2016, the album received widespread critical acclaim for its bold experimentation. Due to her deal with Samsung, the album's first week sales were 1.4 million downloads, at 99 cents each. It is also one of the best-selling albums of the 2010s, selling more than 7 million units worldwide. Love on the Brain emerged as a standout track from the album, with its soulful melody and Rihanna's impeccable vocal performance on the song. It received widespread praise from critics. It is a highlight at her concerts. Other notable tracks from Anti include Kiss It Better and Consideration with SZA, which are some of my favorite Rihanna songs of all time. Lemonade by Beyonce Beyonce's Lemonade was a groundbreaking visual album that showcased Beyonce's artistic and storytelling skills. Released in 2016, the album received widespread critical acclaim for its exploration of themes of race, feminism, and infidelity. It debuted on number one on the Billboard 200, with 653,000 Amukovili units sold. All Night is my standout track from the album. It is a smooth closer to the story told on the album. The song received praise for its message of reconciliation and Beyonce's impressive vocal performance. My other favorites from Lemonade are the opener Pray You Catch Me and Don't Hurt Yourself, both with very different sounds, showcasing Beyonce's versatility. Sour by Olivia Rodrigo 
Sour was a breakout success upon its release in 2021, catapulting Olivia to superstardom, and was the reason she was the biggest artist of the year. It debuted on number one on the Billboard 200 Albums chart, with 295,000 Amukovili units sold in its first week. Deja Vu is my favorite song from the album. With its introspective lyrics and catchy melody, the song received widespread praise for its relatable themes. Some people noticed that it sounds like a Taylor Swift song. Other notable tracks from Sour include Driver's License and Good For You, both of which were the biggest songs from the album. When We All Fall Asleep Where Do We Go by Billie Eilish Billie's debut album was a groundbreaking release that made her a superstar upon its release in 2019. The album debuted on number one on the Billboard 200 Albums chart, selling 313,000 amicovalent units in its first week, and received widespread critical acclaim for its innovative sound and dark and introspective lyrics. With over 3 million copies sold in the US alone, it became one of the best-selling albums of the year. When the Party's Over is my standout track from the album, showcasing Billie's haunting vocals with minimalist production. The song received praise from critics for its emotional depth and vulnerability. Other notable tracks from the album include Bad Guy and Bury a Friend, which further showcase Billy's unique blend of pop and alternative influences. SOS by SZA SZA's second album SOS released in 2022 marked a significant moment in R&B music, earning widespread critical acclaim and commercial success. The album debuted on number one on the Billboard 200 Albums chart and received praise for its soulful sound and SZA's captivating vocals. With over 3 million copies sold in the US in 2023, it was one of the best-selling albums of the year. Good Days is the best song from the album, showcasing SZA's ethereal vocals and introspective lyrics. The song received praise for its dreamy production and emotional depth, exploring themes of self-reflection and growth. Other notable tracks from SOS include Ghost in the Machine with Phoebe Bridgers and Gone Girl, which are two of the most underrated songs from the album. Purpose by Justin Bieber Justin Bieber's Purpose marked a comeback for the pop star, showcasing a more mature and introspective side of JB. Released in 2015, debuting at number one on the Billboard 200, with first week sales of 649,000 Amukovili units. The album received positive reviews from critics and became one of the best-selling albums of the year. Sorry emerged as a standout track from the album, with its infectious beat and summery vibes. The song topped charts worldwide and earned Bieber critical acclaim. It was an absolute banger. Other notable tracks from Purpose include What Do You Mean and Where Are You Now, both of which further solidified Bieber's status as a pop icon. What do you think about my opinions? Tell me in the comments below.